Good evening everybody. This video is created by WebSoft Creation. In this video you will learn that how we can implement Ajax in ASP.NET. So first of all question is arise can we arise that what is Ajax? Ajax is a asynchronous JavaScript and XML. The the biggest myth about Ajax is that it is a new technology but it's not true. That the it is a combination of JavaScript and XML and uh, it is used for partial page refreshing. So what is partial page refreshing? Partial page refreshing it, the it's a mean of partial page refreshing is that that you don't want to send your whole page data to the server you want only a part of page data should be transferred to the server that is Ajax. To transfer your data you have to use XML because uh, the form data will be stored in XML and it will transfer to the server and the uh, JavaScript is used to categorize or you can say that uh, it will give uh, some partitions in your web form so that's why it can uh, transfer a part data or you can say the web page part data will transfer to the server so Ajax implementation in ASP.NET is very easy if you uh, if you uh, take a example of PHP to implement Ajax uh, in PHP Ruby another language or another language it's a very typical for us first of all we have we have to check it that your browser is supporting Ajax or not we have to check it first what uh, if you are talking about the Ajax extensions or you can say the uh, Visual Studio 5 uh, to above 3.5 you will find the Ajax extension over here so we have some controls uh, Ajax extension controls which are uh, uh, really the base controls for to implement Ajax in your web application and uh, we have also Ajax toolkit where you can uh, where you will uh, find a DLL of various Ajax controls like uh, we can take an example in today's scenario that you have seen in many website like uh, uh, you are giving a password and uh, a sing, uh, and uh, password text box side box uh, is uh, representing the strength of your your password that is also available a control is also available in uh, Visual Studio 2005 so uh, to implement that uh, kind of DLL you have to uh, install the DLL in your Visual Studio so I am not taking I am not talking about that but uh, I am I am taking the example of Ajax implementation in ASP.NET so if you want to implement Ajax in your ASP.NET web page first of all you have to put script manager at your web page because script manager is a brain to implement Ajax as we know that without brain no nobody can't work it's, uh, it's a it's provide some interface or provide some ActiveX controls to implement your Ajax in your web page right so if you don't put this script manager your Ajax will not be execute so first of all remember it that you have to put script manager over here okay now I am taking another example where I will receive a user data in a text box and uh, I will show some message in a label right uh, I am writing some code over here it's a very simple code like level one dot text equals to text box one dot text right so it's a very simple code and it's, uh, it's not I have a big uh, um, code that it's not a bit, uh, it's a very easy to understand right so whenever you click on this button then you will find that your data will transfer oh I have to remove it sorry for it okay okay now I am giving some message over here WebSoft creation and if you put on button then WebSoft creation will display in level control but do you see that the what's happened over here if you click on button that whole page will transfer and your transformation will be show over here if you are using the uh, IE Internet Explorer then you will uh, uh, you can see the processing of your web form over here so if your page have a bulky controls or you can say that your page is very bulky then you have lots of controls over there if you transferring some data from client to server or we are checking the username existing username from the server then it, it, it and if you are transferring whole data then it will be uh, very typical for us we can take an example over here if you are 
taking a password uh, I'm taking here text mode password right and if you put some code over here then you will lost that that password if, uh, uh, as each and every page refresh right so I'm giving some data now button click right so level have output data but your password has been lost that's why we need Ajax implementation as your page right so I want to implement it I remove that uh, text box control because I don't need that so to implement your uh, Ajax or you you don't want that your only text box data button data and label data should transfer to the server then you can use update panel I will put update panel and I will transfer all my controls to update panel button and label right so view in browser and if you click on it web soft and button click then you will see uh, you have seen the output of this execution button click your page is not refreshed it's ajax it's ajax is an example of ajax now i'm taking another control which will show the progressing of your ajax implementation uh, which is used to update progress update progress can be used to implementation or to show uh, user to processing of your implementation is going on so update progress is used to show uh, show progress of your update panel control so you have to put uh, associate update panel control panel ID and you have to give update panel 1 so what is update panel 1 it's the ID of my update panel which I have which I have been already given over here so you can find out it here update panel 1 this is my update panel 1 and uh, an associate control associated update panel ID I put update panel 1 right so this is my control and uh, I want uh, implementation progress template should be display over here and uh, you have to put IMG SRC and I have an Ajax image oops I have to refresh it Ajax image control J pick URL my Ajax image and I cross it. Okay. So view in browser. When your data is going to up, up, update, then you will uh, that update progress template will call and it will show some message or it will show some output. So if you click on this, then you 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 have seen you have seen final output over here. Like uh, I am giving here web soft creation, right? Web soft creation and click on button then you've seen the final output this is the ajax control and you you have seen the ajax implementation at your web page thank you watching for this uh, thank you to watching this video and uh, i want to introduce uh, with the websoft creation websoft creation is a software development company based in jaipur we also impart some uh, some it training for for our students uh, for summer training uh, summer training we also provide so uh, please uh, keep your interest in us and uh, we are pleasure to for it thank you for watching for this video thank you